By default, Elementor and WooCommerce does have some functionality when it comes to dynamic tags. But if we want to, let's say, send our users to the product page exactly, let's say for the product URL, or you want to make that product URL to be dynamic and not static. For example, if you're using product grid or product loop. So for that matter, Jet Engine by Crocoblock helps you to achieve exactly that and many, many more features. And if you want to purchase that exact plugin that we'll be seeing or going over today, it will be down in the description below. So let's dive right in. When we are right here in our WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over and install the Jet Engine plugin right over here under the plugins. And when you purchase it, just add new and then upload and then you'll have the Jet Engine plugin right over here. So let's head over to Jet Engine and let's go to our Query Builder. And when you are in the Query Builder, what you want to do is add new and right over here, just name it, for example, products products and right over here on the description you don't have to profile it but under the query type what you want to do is set it to woocommerce product query and under the product status head over and select any we're ready so add query so what we're going to be creating now is going to be a product list or a query list so head over to post type and right over here add new what we're going to be creating as a new list item yes jet engine does give you the possibility or the ability to create listing items for example if you're dealing with let's say a real estate website or for example you want to make some other listings in your woocommerce store it does give you that possibility or that ability to do so so Let's head over to listings and right over here, let's add new and right over here. You want to set the listing source, not to posts, but to query builder and under the query, just head over and select products and under the list item name, just give it a name, for example, products or product listing item. And the listing view will be Elementor because we're using Elementor for that example and not anything else. So head over and click the create listing item. And over here, what you're going to be seeing is a sort of an Elementor canvas where you'll be able to set up a single listing item. Make sure that it's a single one, not many of them, because otherwise it's going to be all over the place. So I'll head over and create my own right now and I'll be showing you how exactly you'll be able to configure that dynamic product URL. So I went over and set up this single listing item. So what you'll be able to see over here, I've set it up where I have a container inside of it. I have another container which will be filling up this exact item with an image or a product image as you'll be able to see over here, a product image. And also that was a dynamic filler right over here, a dynamic tag. If we scroll a little bit, we'll be able to see a product image. I've chosen that. And when we click here, it was a title and I've configured figure it that way, it would be the product name as we'll be able to see a product title. And the same thing applies right over here. If I go to the dynamic tags and right over here, I choose the product title and the same applies right over here. I have another heading, which I turned into a product price. The same thing applies right over here. We have both. We have when it's the regular price and the, the discount price. It's going to be applied to all products, not only specific ones. And the other one would be the add to cart, which is the same applied over here. We have a content, we have add to cart. And and we have the add to cart when it's going to be a single product and it applies to all products. Now, what happens is right over here, let's say we have this grid in our website, but we want to see the single product page to have some more information and not be able to just only display it in only one little item. So sometimes it does not have that possibility. For example, we have a, a link. So if we click over here, the dynamic tags and we scroll a little bit to the bottom and we head over to the WooCommerce section, we only have the option for the link to add to cart. We don't have any other option. So what we want to do is head over to the jet engine and right over here, we have WooCommerce product field. So right over here, what you want to set up the field is under the product URL. And when you're going to be clicking this exact title, it will be referring you to the product URL or to the product page. So let's see that in action. Let me set up real quick the listing grid and I'll be able to show you what I mean exactly. So I have a blank page where I want to show you how exactly you can set this up and also customize it wherever or however you want to. So when you're right over here and you want to edit it, just scroll to the bottom and just search for the listing grid or just head over to the search box and, you know, type listing grid and right over here, it's going to be this one, exactly this one. So drag and drop it right over here. And what you want to do here is search for under the listing for our product listing. So let's head over and product 
right over here we have our product listing item and right over here it's going to be displaying all those products it will be dynamic fields yes this, this is exactly the magic of the jet engine because it will allow you to do this exact grid and it, it's just it's so cool I, I don't know how to explain this right what are we seeing here we have the dynamic image or the feature image of our products we have our product title we have our price as i've told you it shows the regular price and the discount or from the original price and the discount price and we have the add to cart so let's update that and also this grid not necessarily will be three by three or it will be three in a row what you can do is customize the column number you can also do for example two or five if you want to if you wish to look it's only up to you so we're not going to be focusing on that but what I want to do is update it and I want to show you what exactly I meant when you can set up the title or the product title to redirect you or to send you to the product page so let's head over and open it the preview page and right over here we have for example our sunglasses so by default it will be only the name of the product it would not send you to the product page but now when we set up this dynamic product url what you want to do is head over and if you scroll over with your mouse you click the product it will send you to the product page and that is exactly what we wanted to so now you know how you can set this up for yourself if you wanted to or i'm sure you can think of any other applications for that exact cool feature if you like this video i'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more tutorials on elementor woocommerce or wordpress make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you in the next one